what you mean. Breaking through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just wanna hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time and my What up, what up, what up, though? This your girl in the hair I'm back with another reading. Um, this is going to be for Venus transiting home and Taurus. Um, this message is for Libra energy. Anywhere you have Libra in your chart, this message is for you. So if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. Please be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel before you go, as well as a comment below if this video has resonated for you and how. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, that is available in the link tree, which is in the description box below. Okay, so um, so this Venus actually is a queen comes to anywhere you have Libra in your chart meaning that it's not exactly 180 but it's almost 180 degrees so um, it's not quite an opposition where you have to be forced into making a choice but you're getting the energy that a decision is about to be made or a decision that has been made the results are about to play out okay so um let's just get into it Venus in Scorpio. You're attracting secrets. It could be a secret relationship. Venus, right? Secret affair, secret money, secret. It's you're in a relationship that nobody knows about. You're attracting relationships that you don't want to share with other people. Or money you don't want to share with other people um, and this is Scorpio energy is about the occult um, so it's things that are done in the dark or behind closed doors um, for the protection and safety so you may be trying to protect the relationship that you have by allowing it to be a secret from other people um, you could also be with someone who has secrets or have a secret that they're not sharing with you. But all in all, Venus and Scorpio energy is about having a very strong emotional bond and connection that you both don't even know how far it goes, but you just feel the energy. Okay, and that's what Scorpio is about. Like you feel it without knowing everything. So maybe the relationship that you're in or you're attracting nowadays are something that is of a mystery to you. You don't know how it's gonna go. You don't know how it's gonna unfold, but there's something strong and magnetic that's kind of keeping you together or keeping you, you guys both interested in each other. So what do you desire? Venus again, Venus in Virgo. Okay, we got Venus in Virgo here. So you're desiring um, someone who's responsible, someone who can make um, smart or healthy decisions, especially when it comes to helping you transform yourself into your highest self with these butterflies, transformation, um, health with the greenery, um, someone who is able to 
you know, tell the difference between something requiring a response and something not requiring a response. Um, someone who's able to, um, we got discrimination here, meaning you're able or they're able to um, just make healthy, yeah, like I said, healthy decisions, healthy choices, and they're not grouping or, or lumping things together that does not go together, okay? And the fact that you're attracting secrets, but you're desiring discrimination, it's like you want to cultivate this relationship out of the public eye, but you also want them and you to be using discernment in this relationship. Um, so you know who to talk to, they know who to share the information with, you know who, who, okay, our justice, all right, you looking for someone who is the right person, you're deciding someone who is the right person, the right fit for the type of legacy you're trying to create and build, okay, and that's not going to be everybody, that's why discrimination is here, so you're... You have a lot of um, secret admirers or people who want to talk to you or be with you, but it's only a, a small or maybe just one type of person really that you're looking forward to actually, you know, being with. And that desire is strong. We got a lot of Venus energy here, Venus rule sign. So what shadow work are you working on, Libra? We have sun in Capricorn okay so um and at the bottom we have saturn and gemini concentration okay so um okay so i do see this as like your relationship is being influenced by other people's opinions and decisions and you're trying to block them out or not pay too much attention to all of them with saturn being an aquarius you're trying to think outside the box do things differently um, not repeat some of the same karmic lessons you've already learned from previous relationships. Trying to be more um, lighthearted, not take th things too too serious. But your shadow work here is saying that um, with the Sun Capricorn achievement, it's like you're you have issues with um, work, and it's not that you can't work or you don't work enough. It's really just like I feel like the shadow work is like you do so much or you work so hard or you work yourself too hard into situations or trying to acquire situations you put a lot of weight and heaviness on yourself that's not really necessary and you may do that in your relationships or partner or have partner with people in relationships who require a lot from you but they really didn't have any type of discernment and they had a lot of secrets on top of that so um you may be looking for some you know perfect relationship which doesn't really exist or some perfect person that doesn't really exist because you may have been made to feel you know in your own past when it comes to relationships and how you're being groomed in you know childhood um you were forced to focus on work or you were fo forced to fo focus on learning college or you are for, forced to focus on raising other children, children that were not yours, because um, Gemini represents teaching and training, um, as well as the mental processing. Um, so you were forced to, or somebody was, you know, very forceful with how they spoke to you and how they wanted you to be great and achieve things that are great. And maybe this became kind of like a burden to you because now you feel like if you don't, have some lofty goal that you've achieved that maybe you're not worthy and w which is why whoever is attracted to you or you're attracted to your life there is it's a secret because you may feel like you don't deserve this person or you could feel like this person doesn't deserve you because they haven't you know accomplished something that you feel like they can or should accomplish or you know they may feel that way about themselves which is why you're okay with you know not telling the whole world about what's going on between you and this other person but you want to utilize your discernment moving forward because if your relationships are always a secret or um yeah if your relationships are always a secret because there was some type of material wealth that has not been achieved yet um the decisions you make from trying to keep it a secret can honestly do damage to the relationship itself because 
there's too much concern about opinions or what people around you may think especially people who grew up with you who've known you probably longer than this person that you're with um but they're the more stable one because you know although gemini and uh, Virgo are both mercurial energies um, this discrimination or this ability to make discern decision or the, the, their ability to be discerning discerning is not like the people that you're used to being around they're different and your ability trying to protect the relationship or protect the money or assets that you've come into that you don't want to share is going to end up being talked about and shared anyway because you're Venus ruled. So anything regarding relationships, love, money, sex, you know, the finer things in life, beauty, all those are always gonna be a topic of conversation and you're trying to pick and choose what you will talk about because you don't want other people to know that you found something that is, you know, although mysterious because you don't know what the final outcome is actually going to be between you two it is something that's very transformative for the both of you and you want you're trying your best to be in control of how it makes you feel what it does to you how your life is going to turn out and you really need to lighten up okay just because relationships that you've seen growing up in the past they didn't achieve the type of relationship status or the type of relationship dynamic you wanted them parents included to have doesn't mean that you can't have it yourself yes there is a fine line between you know secrecy and just plain old you know sneaky link okay there is a difference and it's up to you to determine what you know side you're on with this person or this this money opportunity that's coming before you but it's time for you to you know blossom it, it's time for you to get off get the you have you have feelings that you're hiding and it's time for them to be released it's time for them to fly high and be released okay stop caring about what other people think you should be focused on because you're already focused enough on trying to achieve achieve something that you'll mess around and just this person will make a decision to not be involved because they're constantly in the dark about things they're constantly feeling like their secrets abound or they may feel like they're a secret to you because of how the decisions that you make and it's all based off some lofty goal that can be here today and gone tomorrow Okay, so be very careful about the type of, you know, thoughts that you have about relationships and how you feel about money and relationships in general because it's going to play out in your physical reality and that'll be the achievement that you actually get. And if the achievement and relationships are not one that you're really gelling with right now, it's because you need to go back to what type of thoughts and feelings you actually have about being in a relationship one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Because that'll tell you everything you need to know about the people you're attracting, who you're desiring, which will also segue into you doing this shadow work. Okay, so let's see what love messages does Libra need to hear. What love message does Libra need to hear? And I feel like too, Gemini also represents children, um, school age children. So you may want to keep this a secret or you've been keeping this person a secret and making decisions to, you know, separate your home life and your relationship life because you have children and you want something solid to be delivered to them, not something that's just like a fling or a one-time thing. And there's nothing wrong with that either. Again, it's just like what achievement is it that you're trying to you know meet and are you going to keep moving the goal post every single time you get close to achieving whatever it is because i feel like whatever achievement that you feel like you need or you deserve is based on the past and not wanting to repeat it and there's nothing wrong with that not wanting to repeat karmic cycle there's nothing wrong with that but how will you ever know if this is something that's different 
how do you know if you've grown in your discernment and chose differently if you always feel like you have to have some type of physical achievement and it may not be you it might be the other person too because this is vice versa but um yeah how will you know if you made the right decision with the person that you desire if you're always looking for some type of physical thing to accompany in it and that's the same thing i got from virgo too like if you took the status away what do you have left the least you should have is a friendship okay so if you took the the popularity or you know the physical assets away do you have anything real and when you or opposite if you don't have any of those things and when you start to add them on who are you who is the other person what what is what is the relationship going to turn into when it becomes more serious and is that why you want it, things to be a secret for now is because you don't want to think about that you don't want to address it you don't want to concentrate on those type of thoughts all right so we have the heart wants what it wants but if i have to say goodbye i'll let go okay at the bottom i didn't feel appreciated okay so i feel like yeah with this achievement here at the bottom um i did feel appreciated i feel like that's the achievement that's being sought after or, or looked after um or what you're concentrating on rather is that you didn't feel appreciated in previous relationships so you this is an achievement that you're trying to get but it's not that achievement of appreciation is not going to come from anything physical ever it can it can be gift, gifted to you in the physical reality but it's it has to be it has to be spiritual first in order for it to show up in the physical okay so again, how much longer do you want this secret to be a secret? How, how much longer do you want to keep yourself out of something that you really want to be a part of? Because you don't want to lose it. You want to, you feel the appreciation. You're focused on being appreciated. But what type of, you know, hierarchy or some, what type of system are you using to judge and balance rather whether you're being genuinely appreciated or not what system are you using with that because keeping things a secret because you until you feel appreciated enough to share it that's kind of a weird situation to be in like you feel like someone doesn't appreciate you enough or you don't feel like appreciation at a certain extent to where you you're willing to be more open you want a certain level of appreciation before you can open up to someone and tell them how you truly feel meanwhile you are on the brink of losing it so 17 17 when i said that okay so be very careful about what you choose to focus your thoughts in decisions on moving forward when it comes to money and relationships because you don't want to miss out on something that'll actually be good for you because you couldn't let go of the need to achieve okay thank you so much for tuning into this message i hope it finds you well and until next time peace